Hey guys, uh, it's, uh, what is it, Friday? Yeah, it's supposed to be on Thursday. Uh, apparently United uh, doesn't keep up with their maintenance. Had a lot of issues, had to rent a car, drive all the way to uh, San Antonio to catch a flight this morning. Anyway, uh, international traveler, globe trotter as I am, uh, Redbeard's overthunk junk will not leave any stone unturned to get home when he needs to. I uh, didn't quite make it, but I made it before midnight, so that's a plus. So look, guys, uh, we have painted waffles. So look down through here. We got this nice hammer texture going on. Uh, you can see all the supports and whatnot, and she's all naked. Uh, pretty cleaned up, but uh, you can see all my brack bracketry. We're laying out stickers. And everything. Oh, look, it's all naked back here, too. Uh, and uh, look, uh, top of the bumper's got the hammer finish, bottom of the bumper doesn't. Anyway, but look, be excellent to each other. If we learned anything from Abe Lincoln, it was that. So now we're getting into the dressed side of the rig. So uh, I put the rubber trim on everything that's uh, just clear coated, no paint. It's gonna get the rubber trim but it really deadens the noise. So the pour paint adds enough mass to aluminum. We don't have the resonation issues, but the uh, clear coat does not add much mass at all. It's very thin coats. So the rubber around the outside edge, but uh, man, I really couldn't be much happier with how this pour paint, uh, pour paint, how the hammer paint came out. But let's get into the pour paint now that I've uh, left the cat out of the bag here. Uh, look at this guys look at the depth uh, when the Sun hits it. There's a lot of uh, There's a lot more gold than we expected, but it really comes through uh, You see up through here. I think you can see more of it But anyway guys, this is the look we were going for it's a big leap of faith You build these big fenders and everybody wonders what you're gonna do with it or close it in Well, this was the vision and we're getting there if you notice uh, from previous videos, it's all been replaced with grade A. I know it doesn't matter. Uh, it's just the hardware I like to work with. So anyway, uh, come around here. Uh, we've got the uh, we've got one side dressed, one side not, and we've got the uh, Sid sticker. I've been told that maybe our headlights look a little like Sid from Ice Age. I don't really get it. I don't. I don't know where they're coming from on that. Obviously, it's like mid-80s Audi rally cross, but some people see Sid from Ice Age. So, we've got the uh, panels here. We dulled them out by buffing a pattern into them, and then clear-coated over them, put the rubber trim on it, and uh, we've got everything dressed up here. If you notice, the hood is way shinier than it was. Uh, we're actually able to bring it back a lot. This is just mineral spirits at this point. Uh, I think we're going to be above freezing on Sunday. We're going to pressure wash the rig. And I bought some uh, anti-oxidizing uh, cleaner, and then we're going to uh, wax it as well. As dumb as it sounds, we're going to try to revive some of this uh, worn paint. I think it's going to look pretty good. Uh, what we're working on here, we've got some stickers laid out and whatnot. Uh, you probably see as we walk around, we're trying to get a layout of what we're going for. But guys, she's coming together, and uh, the biggest news of the night... She had a dead band. Uh, she would idle great. She sounded smooth, just above idle. But from about 1,000 RPMs to 2,000 RPMs, she fell flat on her face. And it was terrible. Uh, I got to tell you, it, it was really bad. Last weekend about got to me. I ordered up a couple parts uh, because we had everything tore apart. All the wiring rolled in to do the paint work. I couldn't test any of my theories. Uh, my good buddy Stephen cured it in. Uh, we discussed it, and uh, she wasn't managing her fuel well. So we ordered a new uh, mass airflow sensor, installed that tonight, and now we have full throttle. So there's no dead band anymore. That's all taken care of. So we're looking good. We're doing good. Uh, we're going to get this wrapped up this weekend, and there's a chance we're going out on the trail tomorrow afternoon. So anyway, guys, check back. Uh, thanks, for, uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, sharing this, and I uh, hope you've already subscribed, but if you haven't, give it a check. Anyway, talk to you in a bit. Hey guys, oh my goodness, the shop's empty. What's going on? 
Look at that big girl. She just keeps going. Anyway, I have a little screeching cricket. And what is that? What is going on? It moves. What do you think of it, Seth? Good. There we go, guys. Proof that it lives. Better than a hostage with a newspaper. Whoa! Hey, you're back. Look, guys. Roadkill. Uh, so we're done with the panels. We got a few stickers on. Uh, <laughs> warning, I built this myself. And uh, we got some roadkill. Look at the waffles. Look at the waffles. Man. Uh, we got our shackles back on. I think she's looking pretty hot. Uh, there's a lot of metallic flake in this uh, hammer finish we went with. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't spray well. But anyway, uh, we got past all that. So let's walk up here. Uh, Zeppa did some cleaning on the dash. Looks better. Uh, it's probably as good as it's going to look for now. Uh, if we do have to rip all this back out and do the roll cage and whatnot, but uh, we got the panels done on the driver's side. We got the GPS speedo tacked in right here. So we know how fast we're not going. And uh, we got our namesake right here on the fender. Waffles. Uh, headlights are back on. I really think this came out nice the way I laid in the headlight wiring. I mean, it's way overkill. But uh, they're out here exposed, so we gotta make them look right. You know what I mean? So we got that on there. Uh, looks pretty good. Grill's back in place. Uh, hoping to foam cannon this tomorrow. Maybe that'll clean up some of this. Uh, and if not, this is what our grill looks like. It is what it is. So look, guys. Uh, man, we thought we were gonna go out in the woods today, and we spent about an hour and a half trying to get these headlights to work. I have no idea how the previous owner had them wired. Because I tried going back the way it was and it does not work properly. I must have missed something. I wasn't here for the teardown. Uh, you know, excuses, excuses, whatever. I couldn't get them to function uh, properly. Finally thought I had it figured out. We built a manifold for all the wires, like seven wires over here that are cut. I believe that's going to be our blinkers, running lights, all that stuff. Uh, found the ground, found a hot, got it working. And then it only runs with the driving light. We had one on, one off. Uh, anyway. So, went through testing wires, testing wires, thought we had it, got it tied in, and then our uh, running lights stayed on permanently. So, you couldn't even shut them off with a disconnect the battery to turn off the running lights. So, I had to unwire it. Uh, what I'll do tomorrow is I'll take them, uh, I'm going to run a common ground for both headlights, and I'll, I'll tap off a common power source. Hopefully, it doesn't cause issues. If it does, I'll wire in a relay, and uh, we'll tap supplemental power. Uh, this is not a hill I'm willing to die on. We're going to get through this. It's not a big deal. Uh, it's just slowing us down today. So we didn't get out in the woods. Uh, but if you remember last month, we went and played trivia at the Lions Club down there in Gillette. And we're going back tonight. Uh, I've been brushing up on my trivia skills. Not really. Uh, but anyway, uh, we did learn last week. Final question was a question about the uh, World Wide Web and the Internet. They tried to claim they were the same thing. The Internet was invented before the World Wide Web. They accepted both answers. Uh, whatever. Uh, tonight, tonight we're going to hang them on the technicalities. We're going to do better. Anyway, uh, hope you all have a great weekend. And uh, she's going. Uh, weather's looking favorable. So come join us at the Dayton Off-Road Expo next weekend. Uh, we're going to have Sammy Mog. And we're going to have uh, Junior Waffles. So Dan Muskoff, you got more work to do. We need some more stickers, bud. I'll contact you. Anyway, y'all have a great evening.